the South Portland Police Department is looking to add to its force, at least temporarily. The opportunity just presented itself to, hey, let's put something out on our social media uh, sites, see what sort of reaction we get or response we do get. Turns out people are very interested in tagging along as a cop for a day. I thought it was a great opportunity. I saw it on uh, Facebook and I jumped on the opportunity. Richard Matthews is the department's first participant. He's also the chairman of the city's Board of Education and concerned about drivers speeding near schools. Uh, at the end of the day, I just want to bring more attention to this. Uh, we've tried to bring attention to it for the last several years. When we think about community policing, some of the things that we think about are really that. Relationships, communication, partnerships, and problem solving. During Matthew's ride, it didn't take long for the problem solving to start. And these cars, we know, aren't going 15 miles an hour. And they may only be slowing down because we're here now. The police department says it wants this new program to be a step up from its ride along initiative. While that tends to focus on the work that officers do every day, they want the Cop for a Day program to be an open conversation about bettering the community. This 15 mile an hour school zone. When it comes down to brass tacks, it's them sitting in a car and going, well, this is what's going on. Hey, let's try this. Let's try that. We're always busy. A good way for officers to learn more about the people they're serving and for those folks to get a glimpse behind the badge. Reporting in South Portland, Tyler Cataret, WMTW News 8.